What's going on guys? My name is Violent. Welcome to Grizz Zombies. It's been a minute since we took a look at Infinite Warfare Zombies, but today what I got for you is a top five high-end camos that were available all throughout the season pass. These are exclusive to Infinite Warfare. So drop a like on the video if you go on to enjoy and subscribe. Let me know in the comment section if you're new and if anything here sparks an idea. This is my first top five, so I am setting the precedent with the high-end camos. But hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies after the video. And let me know, what kind of top five would you like to see next week? I'm going to be doing this weekly series. We're going to talk about this accessory hack. There was a problem with this. It was 45 keys. Did get a response from Ashton over on Reddit. Sorry for the late reply, everyone, and thanks for tagging me. This was about five days ago now. You're right, it was dropping dupes, and it shouldn't have been. As for a few hours ago... It was fixed, and we'll be looking into something for all those who took part in the hack while it was given out duplicates. So it would seem that this was fixed, and there is an apology. Apologies for the miscommunication, everyone. And there we are. So this fix is now in play. Let me know what happened exactly with your account. Did you get a refund of some sort, and what did it look like? Really interested in knowing that type of information. But you would be surprised how we're going to start this top five off. We are going to start out with five camos that are actually better and more superior than the black sky camo this is the secret camo you got from unlocking all the camo challenges in multiplayer the same thing can be said about world war ii zombies but this entire series is based on infinite warfare that's the top fives i want to keep going on at least until treyarch's next title keeps picking up we're going to keep this exclusive to infinite warfare zombies let's go ahead and start with the high-end camo that's coming in at number five <music> Number five is an epic camo known as Nostalgia. This one here is an Infinity Ward favorite because it features four different camos, all of which the camo emblem itself showcases four different camos that it fades in and out of. But I would argue that there are six different colors here as it fades in and out, mixing together. Six that you can kind of count. But this is an Infinity Ward favorite because it's a throwback to all the Modern Warfare series. I would say in most multiplayers nowadays, we do have these sort of camos, Blue Tiger and whatnot, that feature it just as basic multiplayer camos. It's something that we've become accustomed to, but it's definitely a shout out to the Modern Warfare series here by Infinity Ward. I believe this camo was introduced sometime during the Days of Summer event, but a common misconception is that it wasn't exclusive to that event that happened in the summer here of 2017. Moving into 2018, how can you still get this camo? Well, it's just in normal zombie crates or supply drops. Just depends where you're going to try to be getting this. But it's still available if you want to be able to get your hands on it. So be out there fishing through those supply drops and best believe it's going to be in there. And that's why it comes in at number five. <laughs> In number four, we have a tie for the number four spots, and that is the Jack-O-Lantern camo. This was an epic version that you could get only during the Halloween Scream event. This has come and gone. It's exclusive, and you can no longer get your hands on this. Now, this was partnered with another camo, okay, and that's Hell Count. There were many that dropped throughout this Halloween event. These are the top two, I believe, deserve the number four spot. So we're going to take a hard look at them and exactly how awesome they really are. We want people to go wow when they see these. Okay, so what this is, the Hell Count one, is the 115 numbers that we remember from Black Ops. Remember, remember the numbers, Mason. That's exactly the vibe I get from this. During the event of Halloween Scream, the way you would obtain this, I believe it was 45 keys. There were a certain amount of packages you could get. It was about 12, and they would be non-duplicate protected items. If you could afford it, you could unlock it. And that's what was awesome about the Halloween Scream event. And Infinity Ward, after all the times of failing, this was one thing they absolutely succeeded on, was giving everybody a chance to earn these weapons properly. And you could do that simply by having keys and unlocking these duplicate protected drops that absolutely had the gear inside of it. This is what the Jack-O-Lantern camo looks like and it's tied with the Hell Count. In number 
number three comes a fan favorite. This one's called Blinded, and it is the chrome camo. Absolutely one of the shiniest camos that's in the books. And I want to say, if you have this, you are pretty lucky because you have to get this through supply drops. That's the only way you can actually attain it, and it's only for certain weapons. So whether you open it and it's for assault rifles, that's the only class you can get it for, and that's how the camos work. So this camo, the chrome camo, which is called Blinded, is very bright, and every single light will reflect off it, showing the chrome even more. I think Infinity Ward did a massively great job on this camo. It's definitely one of the best camos, and that's why it's in number three right now. What do you guys think of the chrome camo? Do you think it's better than World War II? What do you guys think? I think this definitely gives Call of Duty World War II a run for its money with the chrome camo. This is what it looks like in Infinite Warfare Zombies, guys. What do you think of this camo? I'm actually really digging it. And for this not being an actual animated camouflage, I think it's remarkable how much the shine can perform for this camouflage. So let me know what you guys think of that. But I think this is above and beyond worthy of the number three spot. For real though, it's gorgeous. Wham bam, thank you ma'am. <laughs> In number two comes a very special camo, very dear to me. I rocked it through a majority of my gameplays. A lot of successful videos, DLC 3 and DLC 4 with this camo. I've had a good time, and I plan on having a good time moving all through 2018 here with these top fives. The Rainbow camo happened on week three of the Days of Summer event during summer. Through those hacks, you were able to get this camo, so you can no longer get your hands on this unless Infinity War decides to change up the game and allow these camos to be earned. As of now, that isn't possible. It seems to be exclusive for the time of the event. So these are time-based camos. Something that Infinity Ward put in that I thought was really exciting. I absolutely feel that this was a step in the right directions because ultimately what I want to see here is time-based weapon quests. Weapon quests that come in alongside of our bounties that are only available for a certain amount of time and that weapon might be very powerful. That weapon might be very useful in zombies and you might be become special because you're rewarded that weapon and you were there for that time. That's what I want to see is time-based weapon quests, but for right now this was a DLC weapon camo add-on and something that hasn't really been done before, but Infinity War pulled it off and you were able to open these packages for 30 keys and sets of 12 to unlock the dupe protected camo. <laughs> Coming in at number one and taking the crown is Director's Cut Camo. You probably guessed it, that's right. And I want to give a shout out to my boy Lee Ross, who is the Associate Project Director over at Affinity Ward during the whole season pass of the 2016-2017 season for Infinite Warfare Zombies. Thank you for all that you did and bringing bounties to the forefront alongside with Brian Bright. The director's cut camo for beating the super easter egg was absolutely marvelous. Lee brought a personality to zombies in a way that we haven't seen. Jason Blundell brings his own perspective to the table, but you had your own flavor. And that's what we absolutely loved and adored. And as things got better throughout the entirety of the season pass, camos got even greater too. We had a lot of DLC add-on camos, but director's cut definitely takes the number one spot. Now we're on to honorable mentions. The first camo is called Lagoon. This one came with the Days of Summer event. If 30 keys, you could unlock a certain amount of supply drops. I believe it was 12, and you would be awarded this. It looks really good on my shotguns. And so that takes a spot of one of the honorable mentions. The last one is the Blunt Force S camo. This one is for all you 420 snipers out there. I believe they did a really good job, and this is a only a rare camo, so you can get this in any supply drops. So be out there looking if this is your flavor. But I wanted to do an honorable mention just so those camos were included. But let me know what you thought of this top five. Did you think I chose a good set of camos? Is there things you disagreed with? Let me know in the comment section below. Maybe we could come to an agreement somewhere in the mix. I might be doing a lot more top fives on the channel, but every week I will be doing one Infinite Warfare top five. So let me know what you'd like to see for next week's episode. And be sure to subscribe, turn that bell icon on, become part of the notification squad, and I'll see you in the next video. Violent out!